Okay, in class we have been talking about classifying polygons, specifically triangles and quadrilaterals. So we're going to take a look at this graphic, and it's our job to label each one of these shapes that are identified by a letter. For example, here is letter A, and it is this large four-sided figure on the outside. Now, none of the sides of figure A have parallel lines. None of the sides are equal. So this is simply just a quadrilateral. Okay, shape B, it does have two sets of parallel lines. Those lines are not equal in length. So we will call this a parallelogram because it has two sets of parallel lines. And you can even write in parentheses while you're writing that. That might help you, your brain sort of organize the information. It's a parallelogram because it has two sets of parallel lines. Letter C is inside of the parallelogram. But if we look a little closer, it's actually inside of figure D. Figure D, all of the sides are equal. So I know that figure D is a rhombus. But inside of the rhombus is a square. So figure C is a square. But it's inside of D because it has four equal sides. And now we're going to talk about figure D. It has four equal sides. It doesn't have four right angles, so we can't classify it as a rectangle. So this will be called a rhombus because it has four equal sides. Okay, figure E is inside of figure F. So let's think about why it would be inside of figure F. First of all, I need to identify what figure F is. It is a parallelogram. The opposite sides are equal in length, and it has four right angles. So I know that figure F is a rectangle. I'm going to go ahead and write that one in while I'm talking about it. I know it's a rectangle because it has four right angles. So figure E is inside of figure F because it also has two sets of parallel lines. The opposite sides are equal and it has four right angles. So it is a special rectangle because all of the sides are equal in length. Okay, figure G, I notice it's not inside of figure B, which is a parallelogram. And that's because figure B houses all of the shapes that are parallelograms or all of the shapes that have two sets of parallel lines. Figure G only has one set of parallel lines. So I know that that describes a trapezoid. And finally, we have figure H over here. I notice that all of the shapes housed within figure A all have four sides. But figure H over here only has three sides. And I know that three-sided figures are called triangles. So question number two says, why did the creator of this graphic place the trapezoid in its location? Well, 
The trapezoid is inside of figure A, which is a quadrilateral, because the trapezoid does have four sides. However, it's not inside figure B with all of the other parallelograms, because to be a parallelogram, you must have two sets of parallel sides. So we're going to write this in sentence form. I'm going to restate the question my answer. The creator placed this graphic in its location because it belongs inside of figure A with all of the four-sided figures. However, it does not belong inside figure B with all of the parallelograms. It is located apart from them because it has only one set of parallel lines. Okay, question three asks, what are characteristics shared by a rhombus and a rectangle. So if I locate the, the rhombus and the rectangle in this graphic, I see that figure D and figure F are, figure D is a rhombus, figure F is a rectangle. And I see that both of these are located inside figure B, which we've already determined is a parallelogram. So the common characteristic shared by the rhombus and rectangle is that they both have two sets of parallel lines. So I will say, re remember to reset your question and your answer. The characteristic shared by a rhombus and a rectangle is the fact that each of them are parallelograms. Meaning they both have two sets of parallel lines. Question four asks, why can a square be classified as a rhombus, and that should say, and a rectangle? Why can a square be classified as a rhombus and a rectangle? So if I look over here at the graphic, um, there's a square inside of the rhombus and there's a square inside the rectangle. The reason figure C is inside of figure D, the square inside the rhombus, is because the definition of a, of a rhombus states that it has four equal sides. The reason the square is inside the rectangle is because the definition of a rectangle states that it must have opposite sides equal and four right angles. So square fits both of these qualifications. So I'm going to say a square can be classified 
as a rhombus because it has four equal sides. It can also be classified as a rectangle because the opposite sides are equal and it has four right angles. Question five asks, which shape can be given the most names and what are those names? Based on all of the activities we've done in class, um, we have all discovered that constantly a square is being is, is popping up as being a rhombus, being a rectangle, being a parallelogram. So a square definitely has the most um, names. So I'm going to list all of those names out. A square is the shape that has the most names. Those names include polygon, quadrilateral, parallelogram, rectangle, rhombus, and of course, square. And the final question asks, or states, a square is a rhombus, but all rhombi cannot be squares. Why is this? Well, first of all, you have to know why a square is being classified as a rhombus. And that is because the definition of a rhombus states that it has four equal sides, and a square meets that qualification. However, a rhombi cannot be a square. It can be a square, but it doesn't have to be all the time because the definition of a square states that it is a rectangle, which means it has four right angles. And not all of the rhombi that you encounter will have four right angles. So I will say a square is an example of a rhombus because it has four equal sides. However, not all rhombi are squares. To be classified as a square, The shape must have four right angles. And I'm just going to draw a thinking map to help um, organize this, this thought or this realization. So here you have a rectangle. which has four right angles. Hey, 
Um, and here you have a rhombus, which has to have all equal sides. So a square is an example of a rectangle. And a square is also an example of a rhombus.